覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to World Record Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Record Coup, and today we are looking at the Toys R Us exclusive two pack with The Claw and Shuri the Black Panther. <coughs> Pretty excited to get both of these figures. Um, one is exceptionally good, one is a lot of reuse. I think you can probably guess which one has a lot of reuse. Um, ah, Shuri, right here. Um, we'll start with her first. Um, just because I think that's appropriate. Uh, she filled in the shoes of her brother and became the new Black Panther shortly after Doom War, where Black Panther lost his... Uh, actually, you know what? Was it, I think it was before Doom War. Well, she basically filled in for Black Panther, her brother, once he got her, injured by Dr. Doom. Um, and then she became the new Black Panther and was a reigning ruler of Wakanda. There's issue number one with her, because again, you know, I've got to keep you guys hip to the comics. Costume looks exceptionally well done. I love it. Um, and you notice the cape here is more fur and less cape. It's black. Here, they kind of reused the, uh, what figure was that? The Loki, Lady Loki uh, and Sif cape. It's fine, but it really isn't the same. Um, I almost wish they just would have had like something up here to kind of match more or less that. But that probably wasn't pretty hard. Um, the necklace isn't completely accurate either, but it's okay. Um, the face does like a feminine Black Panther. Um, she's very similar to the Wall Green Walmart exclusive Black Panther when it comes to the wraps, the wrappings here. The leg is very clean, although it's really hard. I feel like it's going to break when I try to move this. So be very careful of this if you pick it up. The other gripe I have with this figure is the X-Men belt. Okay. You see this belt here. And you see this belt. This is Rogue's belt. She's not an X-Man, so that's a problem. Also, this staff here is Craven's. Okay. So, we, we can nitpick all day if we wanted to. I'm still happy we got her because, you know, at the same time, I never would have expected us to get, you know, the Shiri Black Panther figure. Um, and just in case you guys are wondering how close the spear is to Craven, boom, same thing. You know, same thing with the other Black Panther. So there you go. So maybe in the future, Hasbro will do some belts that are more or less uh, the same, or more or less, you know, can be used for multiple figures that aren't marked off of what class it should be. Uh, she looks good, you know, nice articulation besides all that. Not a real good ab crunch, but not terrible. About the same as Female Legends. Um, love the hands. Very much so. And the head is just, it's pretty cool, you know. At the end of the day, you know, we can nitpick things if we want to, but hey, I dig it. I did want to expel a couple rumors. Um, some people think that this is the same as the White Tiger. <coughs> and... As you can see, it's not the same body. <clears throat> um, Black Panther is much taller than White Tiger. She's more like a teenage body for some reason. Um, the necklace is different. The head sculpt is different. She has a ponytail. She doesn't. The head's much bigger on the Black Panther. Um, the claws are different. So, in case people are saying that these are the same, let them know they're not. Okay. I would like to see her, her ears a little bit taller. Because um, you can kind of see that here. But again, for what it is, I think it works. Uh, I think he looks good next to her brother, you know, Wakandans. So, yeah, I dig it. So we'll put Shuri back. And we'll look at the Claw. The Claw is one of Black Panther's older, oldest villains. If he's got a grudge with anybody, it's going to be the Claw. And I love the paint deck on this guy. He comes with this effect. He uses, like, sound. Um, I think it's made up of sound too. It's been a while since I've read about this guy. I've read like all Panther stuff, but um, he's very accurate um, to the comics and he's making a com comeback in the comics as well. Um, let's see if you can see that. Can you see that? See the, the claw in the background? It's 
pretty cool cover, right? I think I got some more pictures of the claw in here. Yeah, so you can see they pretty much freaking nailed it. I mean, the head sculpt is just intense. Um, I was watching a review by, I think, Dudog, and he mentioned that he looks kind of like a Sinnoh like Nimrod. I 100% agree. He looks just like Nimrod um, in some aspects. So, yeah, he's got some pretty cool sound effects or abilities. Uh, one more picture for you. There he is again. So, I like that picture. So, yeah, the claw. Great job. This is a fun pack. This body mode fits him well. And I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up well, but there's like this shimmery aspect in his in his paint. It's really hard to see this lighting. You can just barely see it there where it's like speckles of like light or shimmeriness in it. I very much dig it. Looks cool. Great ab crunch. This guy can get some really cool poses. Um, yeah, I, I, I give him a 9 out of 10 for being you know accurate to the comic character sure over here gets about 7.5 so i like both of these uh figures um and i recommend both of these figures so if you get a chance pick them up you know if not you know if it's not your cup of tea that's fine too but i hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please take a look at the previous video there and don't forget to subscribe there thanks for watching until next time peace